new season of F1 Esports. Perfect getaway for Lucas Blakely, not the only one as well. A second McLaren is heading through and putting pressure on Rona. Barry Borman trying to make it a 1 2. He reckons an overcut is absolutely on the card. Does he carry on? Otmir does. So we got Blakely in the pits. Jano Otmir believes, right, it's time to deploy the battery and try and take the lead. Okay, Lucas Blakely, winner of the race last year, up against the winner of the race the year before. He didn't release me immediately. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's going to be tied into the breaking zone. Big opportunity now, look at this. This is so tight. He's fighting his teammate. He's fighting Rona. He's getting through. Barry Burramund is up past Lucas Blakely, who has missed out. And we're very nearly four wide. It's turned into a brawl. After so long, we were waiting to see action. And now we've got some so close to contact. And Freddie Rasmussen is now in the mix. Hacks on the right, McLaren on the left. And Lucas Blakely's chances of victory might have faded. Over the road goes Rasmussen. Absolutely incredible action. And all of that fighting and all of that squabbling and all of that scruffy but brilliant and glorious racing has opened the door for the reigning champion. Here's the moment, here's the moment. He pulls out of the slipstream and he goes to the inside. Otmir won't have a choice. Barry Berman's gonna take the lead of this one. It's Otmir over the road. Otmir rejoins and Barry Berman's very nearly there. He's not the only one. The McLaren's fighting through here. Berman through, Blakely to the inside. And Jarno Otmir, having held the lead brilliantly after that strategy, loses out to both McLarens. This is what I was talking about. When you have to fight a team on your own, one can always just sacrifice a race and push you off, get a penalty or whatever. Um, and that's the pain of having to fight a team um, on your own. And it's a new season, he's got a new team, but it's the same outcome. Lucas Blakely wins the opening race of the year and takes victory on debut with McLaren. It was so much, so I'm just, I'm very happy it's over and certainly a great way to start the season. And it is, pedal to the metal, and it is, go, 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 go. Thomas Ronha off the front row, gets the best jump of all. Marcel Kiefer, though, however, goes along with him. They are side by side. Ronha swallowed up by Lucas Blakely. He's now up into P2, Matt Gallagher. Yeah, and another man who could be looking at zero is David Sinitza. He's currently in no man's land, but we've got a battle for the lead. Lucas Blakely now leads, heading into Tamborello and takes the lead in lap seven. He scored at Bahrain, his first win in the first race of this championship. He's about to cross the line and take is second this time at Imola, Lucas Blakely is the winner. Wait for it, 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 wait for Barry. Let's go! Yes, baby! Yeah, I never just came too early at the last corner because I didn't know if I was on track. But let's go! Young and old, gather round. Everybody hail Luke King in town. A Silverstone masterclass for Freddie Rasmussen for the 11th time in F1 Esports. Freddie Rasmussen wins. But the man at the flag first for the first time, Thomas Ronhar across the line to become a winner in F1 Esports. Who dives to the inside? This is going to be so tight. Barry Borman's deep into the corner. He's nearly there. Freddie Rasmussen's got close, not close enough for the first time in F1 Esports. It's Barry Borman who is the winner. He holds on by just over one and a half tenths of a second. Okay, but Lucas Blakely, five points. That's all he has in the championship ahead of Freddie Rasmussen. There's no more defending, there's no more damage limitation. He has to go on the attack and start winning races again if he wants to win this driver's championship. And for the sixth time this season, we go racing full wets on for the majority of the field as we leave the line. And it's Ron Ha squeezing like they were. Oh, he was trying to squeeze his rival. He's trying to come back Ron Ha into the side there, Nicholas Longay. They're pinching themselves. The pole sitter dropping down the order. And he has really grown into a championship contender. Became a race winner in the F1 Esports Pro Championship last year. Now, finds himself as the championship leader this year. There he is. Out of the final corner for the final time. What a dominant drive. Lucas Blakely wins at Zandvoort for his third win of the season, for his fifth win all time in F1 Esports. A masterful drive. Back on the top step of the podium, completely deserved. What, what a message to send his competitors. Look how much it means.
with the championship leader having a tough day of it, having a tough event so far, and Jake Benham in just his second race diving to the inside and taking eighth place. Oh, look at Benham getting involved. P8, not scored any points yet in this F1 Esports series and may well be coming home with four if we can keep Lucas Blakely behind. Lucas, the championship leader, is having an absolute mare out there. So Freddie, did he just start? Oh my, oh my God! That one will be a penalty. That is a slam dunk penalty. What on earth has gone on here? I don't understand that. All right, all. Uh, no what comment, no comment. That is. Interestingly, you got Rasmussen and Ronha both trying to catch Lucas Blakely. Blakely on the back foot again, it seems, in qualifying. Like, he's not a massive amount off, and he's no. currently sixth, but if he's starting sixth, we're probably going to see a new championship leader coming into tonight. Here we go then, the end of this Q3 session, the penultimate round of the season, and Longe only manages fourth fastest. What about Blakely? To the top of the timesheets for Lucas Blakely, the championship leader, throws down the gauntlet. And at Brazil, it's pedal to the metal, and it is go, 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 the two McLarens leaving in tandem, Blakely and Boromand, they're both together, but Blakely, the pole sitter, he leads the way through the center S, is in behind Donoso. Yeah, Lucas Blakely though, he will take the final corners here, coming out of Junchao, now past the Archibancardis, he took victory at Bahrain, he took victory in Italy, he also scored in the Netherlands, but for the fourth time this season, he'll take a victory, this time at Brazil, Lucas Blakely. Blakely wins the F1 Esports Brazilian Grand Prix and it'll go all the way to Yas Marina at Abu Dhabi. Yes, I mean, I've always sort of, I mean, I guess as evident now is I always sort of wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm very, you know, I'm very passionate and I, you know, I try to embrace that, you know, every day I go racing and yeah, I feel like tomorrow nothing changes. It's still another race day. It's the last race of the season. Exciting stuff. I dare say it'll be a a crazy race again for you know all the people at home to enjoy probably not so fun for me um but you know end of the day tomorrow's tomorrow's it's the exact same you know it's got to go out there and, and smash it and for the final time it's pedal to the metal and it is go 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 josh Eno makes his way through but on the inside it comes thomas ronha as they venture through turn one Edo has had to go off track ronha allows him to continue through with freddie rasmussen in third as well lucas blakely holds on to fourth is battling further down as well but it comes ronha into turn five outside line now here at the very start on lap one they remain side by side toe to toe wheel to wheel but it's ronha he takes the lead here at abu dhabi here is our championship leader no risks that's what he'll be saying in his head don't go for the move even if it's on Lucas Blakely, this is more than enough with 15 laps to go. We did allude to this at the start of the race that Stachelek could become the centerpiece of the Haas master plan. And now Lucas Blakely, who knows what's on the line, does not want to see his title forfeited at the hands of Poitou Stachelek, comes into turn one, he remains behind the Haas, but everything now has to be well, spurring in Lucas's mind as he tries to look for every which way possible to overtake Poitou Stachelek. They head down through towards turn five. Surely the McLaren, is he going to send it? Not quite. He knows, even if he stays in seventh, but he's going for it immediately. Blakely has managed to run alongside him now. They run side by side, weaving down the straight. Blakely on top. He's ahead of Poitou Stachelek. I was trying to think as little as possible because it was, um, you know, that race felt like it went on forever. I just had to stay so far. August. 2022 has delivered us so many brilliant stories. This one was involved. Freddie Rasmussen, Thomas Ronha also in the mix. Both of them would take Lucas Blakely all the way to the end. Freddie Rasmussen, though, for the second time in 2022, will take a victory in F1 Esports. He wins at Abu Dhabi. But Lucas Blakely, take a bow. Your champion of 2022 for the first time ever. One champion! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! 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 Everybody is born for champion! <laughs> yeah, when I came across the line, it, it still doesn't feel real. I'm just 
speechless at the moment. Um, and I just want to take a very quick moment to, you know, thank the whole team. You know, thanks to McLaren for, you know, believing in me and, you know, giving giving us as a whole team from, you know, the drivers, the devs, the engineers, the best possible platform to, you know, <laughs> succeed. And um, yeah, I've got to, you know, say a quick thanks to my family watching at home as well because, you know, they sacrificed so much to let me go racing in the first place. And this is very much our championship. So, Mum, Dad, Zach, I love you. I know you're watching. <laughs> this is our championship. <laughs>